bless the name of the Lord for this time in your presence again. I want to welcome you to this time of broadcast in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we go to the second part of this message, I pray your life shall be blessed. And the strength of the Lord indeed will be your portion in the name of Jesus. As you want to go to the part, the second part, shall we pray together? Father, I want to thank you for this time in the presence of the Lord. I pray the entrance of your word will bring light to your people. I pray that your people shall be imparted for good in the name of Jesus Christ. As many that are weak, Father, you will give them strength in the name of Jesus. That at the end of this message, your name alone shall be glorified and your people shall be blessed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. This hour, so are listening to me. When you put your faith in the strength of God, there are some things that are settled. It is difficult to believe, but the word of God will never lie. There are some things that are settled. Number one thing that is settled is that when you release yourself into the hand of God, and you begin to believe in the strength and the ability of God. Number one thing that is registered, number one thing that is sure, that you are sure of, that you are sure of, is that you will not fail. Whatever is called failure, from the moment you believe in the Lord Jesus, from the moment you, you tap, you depend on the strength of God, failure is removed. You are not failed. You cannot fail. It is registered. Number two, when you begin to release yourself to believe in the strength of God, the issue of defeat is removed from your life. Defeat can never be your portion. It may be difficult to believe, but by faith I want you to begin to believe that one, you, are, you cannot fail, you will not fail, you will not be defeated, no matter what, let them gather to themselves together. I said, gather yourself together. He said, you will be broken into pieces. That's what the Lord says against you, all your enemies. You will not be defeated. Number three, when you release yourself to believe in the strength of God, put the protection of the Lord will be sure over you. The protection of the Lord will be sure over you. Number four, the victory of the Lord is certain over your life. The victory of God is certain over your life. Therefore, I want to say to you this morning, my brother, today, why not begin to tell the Lord, Father, I have used my strength enough. I have used my ability enough. Father, help me to release myself to tap into your strength. Help me to tap into your strength. Help me to tap into your ability. I have been doing it before. I have been trying all I can do. But today, I make up my mind, Lord, that God, it is only your strength. What you cannot do, I, I don't think I want to do it. And I pray to you, for you today, my brother and my sister, as you are watching me. From this moment, the strength of God will be available for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Where the door has been closed against you, I say from today, receive the strength of God to go back there. And that door of breakthrough will be open to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I said that door of breakthrough, that door of lifting, that door of celebration will be open to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know the question that will begin to come in your mind is to begin to say, how can I make God my strength? How can I make God my strength? My brother, and that is where the word of God is, as the word of God comes to us this hour. Please settle down and let's begin to tap into the keys that, make, that can make us to tap into the strength of the Lord. Number one, you must be sure that you are, you are truly his child. That's number one key, to tap into the strength of the Lord. You must be sure that you are truly his child. That is to say, you must be ready to go into, sal into covenant relationship with him. You must be sure you are a child of God. The strength of God is only available to those people who have, who have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. That is to say, you must be a child of God indeed. You see, the premise must be laid. The foundation must be laid. And the foundation of this strength is that you must be a child of God. 
I pray the Lord will help you this morning as you are watching me, as you are listening to me. Have you given your life to the Lord Jesus? Do you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus? If you don't, wherever you are, you can begin to speak to God, to say, God, I want your strength. And that foundation must be laid right now. And therefore, that foundation is that, Lord, I want to have a relationship with you. I want to give my life to you. I want Jesus to be my Lord. As you, as you do that, I tell you, from that moment, you have started to lay the foundation of tapping into the strength of God. And I pray the Lord will help you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number two thing you need to do is that you must develop a, you must develop a continuous relationship with God. You must cultivate. You must cultivate a continuous relationship with God. This is different from where we started from. At the point of salvation, you start a relationship. But this time around, I'm saying deliberately cultivating a continuous relationship with God. How do you do that? By loving Him. If you love somebody, you don't want to offend that person. And that is what the Word of God is saying. To tap into the strength of God, you must deliberately have a growing relationship with God Almighty. By loving Him, you love Him with all your heart. You walk with Him in holiness and truth. You can see the element of relationship now. It is relationship that, that, that makes your love for Him to grow. It is relationship with Him that makes you to walk with God in holiness and in truth. And apart from that, it's, it's your relationship with God that begins to make you to serve Him. So, in this relationship with Him, when you want to make Him to be to, to be to, to, to be your strength, you, you begin to walk with Him in relationship. You love Him, you walk with Him, you serve Him. I pray for you today that the Lord will open your eyes of understanding to this world this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. That one, you give your life to Him. Two, you give you cultivate a relationship with Him. And I pray the Lord will help you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Another thing you need to do to make God your strength is that you learn to wait upon the Lord. You learn to wait upon the Lord. Check with me from the book of Isaiah chapter 10, chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 30, verse 4, chapter, chapter 40, verse 31. The word of God says, The day that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That is the word of God to you this morning, my brother. To be able to derive the strength of God, you must learn to wait upon the Lord. You must learn to wait upon the Lord. And there are some things embedded in waiting upon the Lord. Number one, you must learn to spend time in His presence. Learning to spend time in His presence. Doing what? Meditating on the Word of God. You meditate on the Word of God. You learn to worship Him. So when you are waiting upon the Lord, it's not that maybe you are just, maybe you are staying anything. No, you stay in His presence. The word of God is close to you from time to time. You spend time meditating on the word of God. Apart from that, you learn to worship him. You see, when you worship the Lord, it, it, it brings to you a kind of consciousness. You derive a, a, a kind of consciousness. You begin to worship him. It's not only during praise and worship in the church on Sunday. That is when you can worship God. The presence of the Lord can follow you wherever you are. You have that tape in your car. You can begin to know, begin to use it to worship the name of the Lord. You have your answer. You can begin to open that set and take worship songs and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Apart from that, you spend time to pray. You spend time to pray. When you spend time to pray, it, 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 it makes you to know how to wait upon the Lord. I pray the Lord Almighty God, He will help you. He will strengthen you. He will release His strength to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you begin to do this, it, it will be easier for God to release His strength over you. And when the strength of God is upon you, you have direction. You know how to do a thing or the other. You know when to go out. You know when to come in. 
I pray the Lord will strengthen you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, to be able to tap into the strength of the Lord, you learn to return back to the presence of the Lord. You see, a good soldier is a, a good soldier is a kind of a soldier that knows how to return from time to time to barracks. When a soldier goes out, you fight a battle, you return to barrack. Just the same manner, if you want to tap from the strength of God, you learn to return to spend time with Him. Come regularly. You can't you can't tap into the strength of God. You come this Sunday, and maybe the next time you are coming to the church is another two, three, four Sundays. Uh, Pastor, I am I'm sorry, Pastor. I, I you know I don't have time. Uh, it's going to be difficult to tap into that strength fully. I pray the Lord will help you. We help you in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to spend time from, you need to come to God from time to time. When you receive the strength of God this week, you go. And the Lord gives you exploit. You come back to thank him. Say, God, I've come back to thank you. I've come back to renew my strength again. I've come back to tell you. And as you're doing that, you'll be reloaded again. Your strength will be renewed. Your strength will be renewed. Therefore, this morning, as you, as you are listening to me, are you ready to tap into that strength? Are you ready to tap into that ability of God? You know we can never end without really spending time to really release ourselves into the presence of the Lord. Therefore, wherever you are, I want, to spend the, I want us to spend the remaining part of this message to really pray. To really pray. It's as the time we used to pray to tap into that strength is as good as the time we have been using to explain the scriptures. And that is why wherever you are, don't allow anything to distract you. Don't allow anything to hinder you. Why not begin to give thanks to the Lord? Let's first of all begin by thanking God. Let us thank God for his strength over the church of God. Thank God for the strength of God over the for the strength of God over you over your family, over the church of God. Open your mouth, begin to speak to God. Say, God, I thank you. I thank you for your strength. I thank you for your ability. I thank you for your enablement in my life. As I pray in that prayer, I want to begin to tell the Lord, Father, I ask for your glorious strength today. Father, I ask for your glorious strength today. Tell the Lord, Father, I Ask for your glorious strength. Release your glorious strength upon me. As you have it in the word of God, he said, For thou art the glory of our strength. For thou art the glory of your strength. Tell the Lord, Father, give me your strength today. Give me your strength today. As I pray to, to the Lord for that, tell the Lord, strengthen me in every area of my life. Strengthen me in every area of my life. I don't know which area of your life. Tell the Lord, strengthen me. Strengthen me in every area of my life. Now tell the Lord, say, Father, I want to manifest your strength in this particular area. I don't know which area that you will need or you need the strength of God. Tell the Lord, mention that very particular area. Spend time, spend time to pray. Spend time to pray. Father, in this particular area, maybe in the area of my family, in the area of my job, in the area of my ministry, in the area of my health, Father, demonstrate your strength. Demonstrate your strength in this area. As I pray that prayer, I will join you with this prayer of faith. And I know something good will begin to happen. Is there any area there is an attack against your life? I speak to you today. As I pray that prayer, I said the strength of the Lord will be available to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we pray together? Father, I want to thank you this hour. You are the God of strength. You are the God of power. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Therefore, by that virtual Lord, I tap into the covenant of that world. That as many people that are watching or are listening to me today, I say receive the strength of the Lord. Receive the strength of the Lord. Yea, you have done it before you have failed. I say from this moment, your strength is renewed. Your strength is exchanged. Receive the strength of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. From this moment, you will not fail again. From this moment, you will not be defeated again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bind the spirit of failure. I bind the spirit of weakness in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From this moment, go and be a success. From this moment, go and be a victor. You are no more a victim. 
no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. I say you are no more a victim. You are a victor in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive this victorious anointing. Receive this victorious power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From this moment as you go out, the power and the strength of God will back you up. The power and the strength of God will back you up. Upon your body, you bear the mark of Jesus. Therefore, no evil shall befall you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that God, your strength will manifest in the life of your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. My brother, I want to thank God for your life. Thank you. God for the opportunity of praying together. Please pray again. Go and rewind again. Go into that session of prayers. Pray and pray again. To say, God, you are my strength. And because you are my strength, I am no more a victim. I am a victor. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Say to yourself, say the joy of the Lord is my strength. Why? Because you are a child of God. Because you are connected with God. I am the righteousness of the Lord in Christ Jesus. Because you are the righteous, you, are, you, you carry the righteousness of the Lord, you are no more a failure. You are the strength of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, you can find on the platform the addresses of the social media. Please feel free to connect with us on the social media. You can begin to see the Facebook, you can see the Instagram, you can see the Twitter, you can see the uh, WhatsApp, you can see the telegram, the, uh, the, the address, I mean, the, the number is there. Please, you can see the link there. If you are online, you can see the link. Please go right away and get connected. And as you do that, we'll be able to serve God in your life, be able to counsel with you. you can, you know, at that point, you can be able to ask questions. Go to the YouTube page. Just type the name on the YouTube page and you can listen to this message.